For all you lever action gun fans out there, Merry Christmas. Marlin is back. <laughs> You know, the company has been on such a roller coaster ride in recent times. After they were acquired by the, the group that purchased Remington and all those other brands and they were kind of folded under the Remington brand, you know, they, uh, they ran into some really, really tough times. The executives who were running that whole group had no idea, no feeling for what goes into making a lever gun. And, uh, you know, when they made the decision to move the production facilities from Marlin's um, historic location in North Haven, Connecticut, up to Ilion, New York, you know, a lot of us knew that uh, it was not going to be a good thing, and, and sadly, we were right. You know, the, the craftsmen in that North Haven facility, a lot of them third, fourth generation gunsmiths, you know, they put a lot of handwork and kind of, and kind of custom touches into these guns to make them work. They knew that old machinery intimately and you can't just pick up that equipment transport it to a new spot lose all of that institutional knowledge and expect things to go well and go well they didn't marlin basically ground to a halt and then after the uh the first remington bankruptcy um you know the company made an effort to uh, invest in cnc machines and try and get marlin back up on its feet but really it was too little too late and then last year um everything fell apart second bankruptcy all the brands scattered to the four winds it was just a, a really 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 bleak time but when ruger purchased um marlin i was cautiously optimistic you know ruger has really been firing on all cylinders for quite a time now and the executives there really had a uh, a warm sentimental feeling for this brand and they wanted to do it right and uh, this is their inaugural effort the 1895 sbl and 4570 government and man this is just a lovely lovely gun you know ruger put their mark on this gun literally you know, the, uh, the serial numbers start with RM, which uh, stands for Ruger Made, but really it could also stand for Revived Marlin. They've got um, proof marks on here that kind of have a little bit of a Ruger flair to it. It's got an RP in there for Ruger Proof. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, got the, uh, um, you know, made in, made in North Carolina on there. Again, these are these North Carolina made Rugers. Um, the traditional bullseye on the stock is red and white. Now, of course, red is Ruger, but for uh, Marlin history buffs out there, you might know that the very original um, bullseyes were red. So it's kind of a, a return to the uh, to the company's roots, to the gun's roots. And, uh, you know, it's that kind of uh, thoughtfulness that, that Ruger has put into this gun inside and out. You know, looking at some of the uh, manufacturing processes, for example, um, the way they've chambered these barrels they are now doing that in a two-step process as opposed to the multi-step process that um, previous marlins required and the, the benefit of that is is that every time you do a process on a on a piece of metal you know you can introduce um, tolerance slop in there and you get enough slop and you can end up with a gun that just doesn't um, perform as well it's just not that tight it's just not up to spec well ruger has really gone to great efforts to um you know get this gun um, working as, as smoothly and as well as possible. You know, another example is they've gone um, and they're doing, doing some EDM cuts on um, some specific components in here. For example, the, the hammer notches are, are EDM cut. And so where they engage the trigger sear it is incredibly flat, smooth, consistent. So the trigger break on this is just crisp as a fall morning. You know, Ruger has these spec'd out for um, trigger pull weights of between six and six and a half pounds. You know, mine here is right below six and a half pounds. Um, so it's very much a lever gun um, um, trigger weight, but there is none of that grittiness, mushiness, no sign of over travel that is really common on most lever guns. It's really a lovely, lovely trigger. Now the barrel itself is a uh, hammer forged 19 inch barrel. You know, hammer forged barrels is one of sort of Ruger's um, trademark skill sets. They know how to make really accurate barrels that way. And um, there's no exception here. You know, this gun 
is really, really accurate. I put a lot of Hornaday's um, um, lever evolution, that 325 grain flex tip bullet through it, and three shot groups out of this, you know, right around an inch, or sometimes even better. You know, so the, the performance, you know, for a lever gun is just spectacular. Um, I put a lot of other rounds through this as well, you know, different um, bullet styles, different brands, different weights. It is cycled and, um, and you know, fed and ejected everything flawlessly. So there's really been no hiccups at all with this gun, which is pretty remarkable for a, for a brand new gun. Um, you know, aesthetically, you know, I really like what they did. They um, nickel plated the um, the loading gate there. They put some, um, they nickel plated the, the bolt as well and they put some nice um, spiral flutes in there. I think it looks really sharp. The um, receiver on this is polished as well. You know, again, Ruger went to the um, extra steps of, of having, you know, people who are um, good at polishing um, you know, you know, add touches to this gun. One of the advantages of polishing is that there are no rough edges or, or sharp parts on, on the, on the lever down here. So you, you don't need to wrap this leather with, with this lever with any leather or anything like that. You know, a lot of older guns, you know, you go to run and it can kind of beat up your hand. This thing is just um, smooth and comfortable and just a pleasure to run. You know, it comes with, um, comes with a really nice peeper and go sight. Had to take it off to get my optic on here. And uh, the front sight is this high vis um, fiber optic. It's actually also has a tritium insert in there. So it's a night sight as well. You know, again, for, you know, you know kind of bear country use, low light stuff, you know, a pretty nice touch. Uh, another cool touch is they threaded the barrel on this. And um, so this is the first time that Marlins will come um, from, from a production factory um, with threaded barrels. That's gonna be standard on here. So for guys who wanna run a muzzle device, a can or something, um, you know, that, that makes it um, you know, pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, this gun holds six rounds, 4570, brings a lot of firepower to the game. You could go seven, you know, six plus one for seven total um, if you wanted to. So, um, you know, no, no shortage of, uh, of ammunition quickly at hand. Um, I mounted this one to six loophole Mark VI on here. It's a first focal plane scope with, uh, you know, a, a milling reticle in there, and it's got a elevation, locking elevation dial here that, uh, that is also in mills. Part of the reason I did that is that I'm out here in this beautiful West Texas country. I've used this on a Audad hunt here, and I wanted to get um, every bit of longer range potential I could out of this gun because, you know, hunting out dad you could be presented with some pretty long pokes and really this system configured as is extremely capable out to 300 yards you know which for a lever gun pretty remarkable you know i was able to um, creep up on a, a beautiful old ram and get within uh, 100 yards and i took advantage of one of uh, the lever guns other sterling qualities which is that it's fast cycling and fast handling i was able to get three rounds into that guy before he knew what uh what happened and just anchored them on the spot so you know an incredibly incredibly capable um hunting rig um you know that just performed really well the uh the wood quality on this also quite good laminate stock beautiful um you know checkering pointed up really nicely on here the quality of the fit and finish between the foreign and the barrel just really really tight and lovely you know uh, Ruger was able to trim up the forend a bit, you know, so this is noticeably a little less um, um, bulky than the forends on my other SBLs. The the way that the wood fits into the um, band up here that holds the swivel stud, again, incredibly precise, you know, and because of how tightly in spec this gun is, you know, some of the problems that the Remington made Marlins had with the, with the stocks cracking, I think that's going to be a thing of the past um, for these guns. Um, Ruger also, you know, in terms of investing in this, has also heat treated these guns prior to machining um, um, the metal. And the advantage of that is when you heat treat it, 
you know, it, it um, can, you know, change the, the profile of stuff. So if you machine it before you heat treat it, it's easier on the machinery, but it can warp a little bit and get this out of spec. Again, Ruger has gone um, the extra mile to make sure these guns are tight and spec and function well. Um, one thing we don't know, price. Ruger hasn't quite figured that out yet. You know, the um, these SBLs from Remington, if uh, memory serves, their MSRP was right around 1270 bucks. That's probably a reasonable benchmark and expectation for the price of these guns, but we'll have to see. Um, as I mentioned, this is the first one out of the gate, not gonna be the only one. So pretty soon, I think you can expect to see walnut stocks, blued barrels, um, other configurations, maybe without a rail, and even the return of the 1894. You know, so these are exciting, exciting times to be a, uh, a Marlin fan, you know, as someone, you know, for whom, um, you know, this company has been near and dear to my heart um, forever. You know, I grew up where these Marlins were made. Marlin was my first deer gun. Marlin Model 60 was my first rifle. You know, I've, I've, um, you know, had a deep, deep feeling like a lot of people for this brand over the years, and I've kind of fretted for its, uh, for its existence. And, you know, I'm breathing a big sigh of relief right now. You know, I'm really happy with these Ruger made Marlins, you know, and I think that for everybody else who cares about this brand as, as much as I do, and I know that there are legions of, uh, of hunters and shooters out there who feel that same way, I think they're gonna be really happy with these guns too.